Good afternoon and happy Wednesday. This is Abby with the Fairport Public Library and I've got another craft for you on this fine Wednesday. So let's get started. Here's what you're gonna need for today's craft. You're gonna need some glass containers, some canola oil, a pair of scissors, a plastic container of some sort, it can be anything, a takeout or something you can cut up, some candles, some little tchotchkes, today I chose fake succulents, and then some filler for the bottom of your glass. And of course, you're gonna need some water. For our first step, we're gonna get the candle ready, the wick ready, by using some birthday candles. So I'm gonna take two, and I'm gonna break it and take the wax off the wick as best as we can. So I'm just gonna break all that wax and pull off in little sections so that we're left with just the wick. Now, if this is gonna let me, there we go. They're holding out. There we go. All right, so we're left with just the wick. I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna use this other one. So once I get this off, I'm gonna put some canola oil in this little bowl. and let my wicks sit for a little while. All right, so I've got my wicks resting in oil and I'm just gonna set those off to the side. So now I'm gonna take my plastic container and this is just a plastic container I had fresh basil in from Wegmans and I'm going to cut it. So I'm gonna use this glass one first and I'm gonna put it down on the plastic. It might be easier to do it this way because there's a ridge. And I'm gonna get a basic idea of how much space I need. I'm just gonna take a Sharpie and mark. The four edges. I used a silver Sharpie because I did not want it showing up. So I've got the four edges marked. And then I'm just gonna cut it in a circle best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to want it to be a little bit smaller than my marks because I want it to fit on top of the, the glass. So you can see it does not have to be good. I'm just making a little circle disc. And we will use this for our wick later. So now I'm going to put my decorations into the bottom of my water candle. Now if you want to pick off the bottom sticker, you can. I'm not going to worry about it right now. I got these at the dollar store and I got these at the dollar store. So I'm kind of going for a natural look. Um, you can use anything. If you get some sand, you can put some kids toys in there. Um, if you have a few children that you would like to have fun with. If you have the little glass jewels that we used in our sun catcher, you can put those in there. I'm gonna use natural rocks and some fake succulents. So I don't want the rocks to be too giant. So I'm gonna get, pull out the small ones from the pack so that they don't take up too much space. I'm just gonna give a good layer of these down at the bottom with a good variety of color. Just enough to cover up the bottom of my fake succulent. All right, so I have a few fake succulents here and I think I'm gonna go with this one for the small one. I'm just gonna push it down on top of the stones so you can see from the side, we've got our succulent and it looks like he's planted in the stones. There we go. So the next step is to get some water. So now we're gonna put some water into our water candle. And we're just gonna pour it in there on top of what we've got going on. And I wanna make sure I've covered all of the little items that are in there, but don't fill it all the way to the top. Now my succulent seems to be wanting to float a little bit. So what I might do is take a couple little stones and put it down on some of the leaves just to kind of weight it down a little bit. And 
encourage it to stay down. Here, you can see, I don't want to tilt it because I don't want to get it on there, but I've got it all in there. And right now, we're going to work on the wick. So next up, we're gonna cut a hole in our plastic disc that we made. Now, I was just gonna use scissors, but I have a feeling working with a knife would be better. If you have a craft knife, I would recommend you do that. So I've got a little knife and I'm cut, scoring like a little X in uh, my plastic. So I'm gonna to try to get in there as much as possible and then flip it over and do it on the other side that I get through. Just be careful with this step, especially if you're using a knife or an X-Acto knife. And then I'm just gonna push through with my nail to make a little hole. And there we go. So I'm going to take one of my wicks. Your hands are gonna get a little oily. I'm gonna feed it through the opening that I made. I don't think we need it that incredibly long because I don't want it touching the item, so I'm going to cut it a little bit. Jeez, they're harder to cut than they look. There we go. So, got a little wick going through the center of your plastic. So next, we're going to bring back our vels of water and decorative items. And you're going to take your canola oil and you're going to pour a little bit on top. Sorry, you probably hear my cats running around like madness. So I'm going to pour some on there so that it makes a good like layer over the top. Of the candle. You can see it's separating. It's very cool. All right, then you're going to take your plastic and wick. You're going to place that on top of everything. All right, and then when we light it, it should work. There we go. We have lit the candle. Now I'm gonna make my second one and then I'll show you them both finished and lit. And here's our finished product. Pro tip, don't put as much oil in there as I did for this big one because it pulls the plastic disc that's holding the wick down and makes it go, the flame go small and maybe possibly even go out. But if you figure out the right amount, the little one seems to be doing better you can get a nice little candle that's made of mostly water. There you go, you did it. You made a beautiful candle that you can use throughout the year to lighten your life. So if you make this craft, let me know what you do and let me see what you do. And I will see you next Wednesday for another craft.